Hey y'all, this is Miss Dooley, and today we are reading a poem by Ray Bradbury. First published in the summer of 1939 by Ray Bradbury, this is Thought and Space. Space, thy boundaries are time and time alone. No earthborn rocket, seedling skyward sown, will ever reach your cold, infinite end. This power is not man's to build or send. Great deities laugh down, venting their mirth at struggling bipeds on a cloud-wrapped earth, chained solid on a war-swept, waning globe, for fate who witnesses to pry and probe. But list, one weapon have I stronger yet. Prepare infinity and God's regret. Thought, quick as light, shall pierce the veil to reach the lost beginning's holy grail. Across the sullen void on soundless trail, where new spawn suns and chilling planets wail, one thought shall travel midst the gods' playthings, past cindered globes where choking flame still sings. No f wall of force yet have ye firmly wrought that chains the supreme strength of purest thought. Unleashed without a body's slacking hold, thought leaves the ancient earth behind to mold. And when the galaxies have heated death and welcomed lastly space's poisoned breath, still shall thought travel as an arrow flown. Space, thy boundaries are time and time alone. Again, that was Thought and Space, first published in Futuria Fantasia by Ray Bradbury in 1939.